Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about my May favorite. These are all products I've been loving for the month of May. Um, to be honest, I really haven't worn makeup all that much this month. Um, we've just had a lot going on. Um, my grandparents came into town for 10 days, so um, we pretty much just laid out by the pool most of the time, so I didn't feel like I needed to put makeup on. And then um, my husband got sick, my kids got sick, and now I'm sick. I'm starting to feel a little bit better now, but I'm still not 100%. So this month has been kind of um, just a lot happening, like fun things with my grandparents coming, but also being sick. So not too much makeup happening this month, but um, I did pull out some products that I have been using. Um, most of them are skincare. I've just been mostly focusing on my skincare since I haven't been wearing makeup too much. Um, I do have a few makeup items though that whenever I did put on makeup, it was usually just like my everyday go-to makeup and um, just really easy things and nothing over the top. So let's get into it. I guess I'll start with the makeup items. There's only a few here, but um, the first thing that I have been loving this month is the Tarte. This is the Tarte BB Tinted Primer Treatment um, with SPF 30 in it. I got this last month in my haul that I did and I've been using it a lot. Whenever I do put makeup on, I've been using this. I ran out of my IT Cosmetics CC Cream and I just haven't been to the store to buy any more um, in my shade. I have the light and the medium shade, but I need the fair shade because I'm so pale. But um, so I've been using this and I actually really like it. It doesn't have the coverage that the IT Cosmetics one has. Um, it's very, very light coverage. Like this is mostly like, it's pretty much like a tinted sunscreen. And um, I like that from day to day. It's not like too heavy or over the top. It's not cakey. It just, it basically just evens out my redness. So I'm actually wearing it today. Um, all I'm wearing is this BB cream. I mean, I have like blush and bronzer and stuff over it, but all I put on was this as far as like foundation goes. So I've really been loving this this month. Um, the next makeup item is this Milani blush. I know a lot of people know about this. This is the Luminoso blush, and it's so popular for a reason. It's gorgeous. It has the most beautiful glow, and it's this really pretty peachy shade. It's just beautiful. Um, I have it on today as my blush, and I just love it. Whenever I do wear makeup, I've been putting this on. And the last makeup item that I have been loving is this Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, mine's in the shade taupe and I really love this. I used to always use the um, Brow Wiz from Anastasia, but I ran out and I just never bought another one until Ulta just had the sale this spring. But I've been using this a lot and I really like how natural looking it is on the brows. And um, I use both of these colors. I use the lighter one um, at the front part of my brow and the darker one at the tail. And I like using this Brow Gal um, spoolie and angled brush to put it on too. It makes it look really natural and really pretty. So that is it for makeup products. And before I go on, I wanna show you one more makeup product. It's not necessarily a favorite, but in case any of you are interested, I'm wearing um, on my lips right now, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is the one I got in my Target Beauty Box. It's Nice to Fuchsia is the shade. Um, just in case anyone's wondering, I, um, I thought it matched my shirt pretty good today, so um, I know it's kind of bold. I In the video I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, it's pretty bold, but I actually don't mind it. I think it's really pretty, and it is a pretty color for summer too, so that's that. So now the rest is skincare. The first thing I wanna talk about is this face mask. Um, I have it in a baggie because it says it's a one use um, face mask, but I this thing is huge. Like I could get two or th maybe even three masks out of this. Um, but I've used, this is like my third one that I've used this month and I use each one twice. So I really have been loving this. This is the Face Food Strawberry Yogurt Mask and I have the Kiwi one too, which is um, smells really, really good too. Um, so I have one more, maybe two more uses out of this one um, before I'm done with it, but I've really been loving just up, amping up my skincare this month. I've been doing a lot more masks and um, just making sure that I'm taking really good care of my skin. So I've um, been loving this. And 
another mask that I've been using is actually a cleanser, a exfoliator and mask in one. And um, it's the Tarte Friction Stick. I talked about this in my last video. Um, I love this thing. This is the deluxe size. It's not the full size, it's the little one. Um, I actually got this from Ipsy. I like cashed in my points to get it and I fell in love with it. So I bought another one. Um, I think it came in a Tarte kit. Um, but I love it so much. I have the tiniest little bit left. That's as far up as it goes. Um, but it's just like, it's like black. It goes on your face like a charcoal mask or a mud mask and you let it sit for like 10 or 20 minutes and then you um, add a little bit of water to your hands, just a little bit, like not a lot, and you just rub it in and it exfoliates your face and then you just rinse it off and it's like a cleanser too. So um, really, really love this Tarte Friction Stick a lot. I've been using it like crazy and I'm about to have to open up my other one. Next thing I've been loving is, oh, I guess this kind of is makeup. I think of it more as skincare because it's I use it more for the sunscreen than anything. But um, I got this in one of the Super Goop kits that I bought in my haul and it's the Perk Up Lip and Cheek Treat Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 40 from Super Goop. And it's basically a tinted chapstick. Um, it's just this really pretty like pinkish red color and um, it's really pretty. I've been wearing this a lot. I love that it has SPF 40 in it and it's great for days like when I'm in a rush just trying to get the kids to school and I just dip my finger in it, rub it on real quick. It adds a nice little color to my lips and then I'm out the door. So, um, and it's very moisturizing too. So, been loving this. The next thing I have been loving is this Jergens Natural Glow. This is like the little mini size. Um, I like to bring this whenever we travel because it's little and it fits in my makeup bag better. But um, this is the Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer and it's basically just like a gradual self tanner. I think a lot of people have heard of this, but I don't use it everywhere. I just do it from like under my chin and down to my decollete and it helps make it a little bit darker. But this is just a really nice gradual tanner that um, it doesn't make you look orange or anything. It just gives you like a natural tan, like it gradually builds up. So the more you use it, the more tan you get, but it never gets like super dark. That's why I like it. Like I never get super dark unless I use my self tanner. So when I'm just, when I just have like a natural tan in the spring and summer, this is perfect just to help make my neck a little bit darker. So this is awesome. The next thing I've been loving this month is from Julep. This is the Boost Your Radiance Reparative Rosehip Seed Facial Oil. Um, as you can see, this is very loved. I use the, This is part of my skincare routine that I use every day in the morning and at night. Um, I just love this. It's helped my acne scars fade so much and it's so hydrating. I love using oils on my face because my skin is so dry. Um, so this is a lifesaver. Anytime I can feel like my skin is getting extra dry or even if I feel like I'm about to break out, I use this and I wake up the next morning, my skin feels so plump and full and like any like little bumps that I felt like were coming to the surface start to go back down. So I'm having a lot less breakout since I've started using this and my skin is in such better shape than it was before. I my next favorite is an empty as well. Um, if I'm going to do an empty video, you guys might see this reappear. Um, this is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. It's an exfoliating toner with 5% glycolic aloe vera and ginseng. I just dump a little bit of this on a cotton round and wipe my face in the morning and at night after I wash my face and it keeps my skin clear and prevents breakouts and it just makes my skin glow. I just love this so much. I already bought a backup you can see the size difference. I bought the big boy, that's how much I love this. So I've already started getting into this one and I, I love this. I feel like this is gonna be in my skincare forever. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever find a toner that I like more than this one. The last skincare item I wanna talk about is from Julep. It's in this cute little container right here. It's their charcoal cognac sponge. Hi, what you doing? That's my son. <laughs> he's playing on the floor. He won't take a nap right now, so he's just playing. So if you hear any noise, it's him. Um, so this is the charcoal cognac sponge from Julep. I know a lot of people don't really like to use sponges on their face because they're worried about like bacteria and stuff. But I, 
but I found that um, if you boil it in water for a few minutes, it gets rid of all the bacteria. And they also have a backup of this white one. This is the kaolin clay cognac sponge. Um, it comes with a little like suction cup so you can put it in your shower and like hang it up by the string. And it says on the package to replace every one to two months. And I would advise to replace it um, every one to two months. I usually try to replace mine like every month and I disinfect them in between so that I can have peace of mind that there's no bacteria in there. But these are really great for um, cleansing the face. They also help with exfoliating. The different kinds of cognac sponges that they have are good for different things. Um, the kaolin clay one is good for um, exfoliating and purifying. And the charcoal one, I believe this is good for um, detoxifying. So it's supposed to bring out all the yuck out of your pores and um, like really get all that yucky stuff out of there. So um, I really do like this one. I haven't tried this one yet, but um, it's about time for me to throw this one away. So, um, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like, like out of the package. Um, this one is a little bit damp because I did use it this morning. It actually shrivels up a little bit more and gets a little bit smaller when it's fully dry. But I just really love this case and it's perfect. It has like little holes in the bottom so that you can air dry it. You can just sit it in here and you can leave both of the top and the bottom open while this is in the middle and it just air dries it without having to like set it on the counter. Um, and it's perfect for traveling. So you just close it and throw it in your bag. And my last favorite for the month of May is this. This is a fragrance and it's not for your body, it's for your home. This is the Island Margarita fragrance from Bath and Body Works. It's just really like concentrated room spray. It's basically like a candle on steroids. This thing is so strong. You really only need <laughs> you really only need one spritz of this in a room and it fills up the whole area with this yummy margarita smell. It smells like has very strong like lime smell and it's just smells amazing. I've repurchased this scent of candle multiple times. I just love the smell in the spring and summer. It's margaritas. It's just so relaxing and I just really, really love this. All right guys, those are my favorites for the month of May. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any video requests for me, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. I have a list going for videos that I wanna film and I'd be happy to add anything that you guys would like to see to that list. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, I love you guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye. Um. Yay. What? Ah. This is basically replacing my candle at the end. Oh my gosh. And my last favorite. Really? I can't talk today. Okay. It's a fragrance, not for your body, it's for your. Duty calls, gotta let the dog out. I'll be back.